Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be painting a watercolor giraffe. So let's get to painting. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be painting a giraffe and um, I've painted a few animals, so I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I have painted a giraffe before. So um, last year I painted this giraffe and, sorry I was making sure you could see it, and um, I, it turned out okay. And I'm just going to kind of go off of this. I went off of a picture I found off of Pinterest or Google something. And um, I just painted it off of a reference photo. And then um, I just, yeah, I just painted it. So today, instead of going off a reference photo, I'm just going to kind of go off of this. And kind of repaint it and show you guys. So it's kind of got like a detailed and then an abstract all in one you have the background and then the giraffe and I really like this painting is one of my favorites um so yeah but the difference is I used Canson paper on this one which is not the best paper and arches which is really high good quality paper so that is what the difference will be today so I'm just gonna be going off of this and for my materials I have my like I said arches cold press watercolor paper my prints and snap brushes in a size 12, 6, and 2. I don't know what I will be using. Um, and then I have my Winston Newton Professional Watercolors in my palette. And then I have my paper towel and my water. And I will. you will also be needing a pencil and eraser. And yeah, so here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with the sketch of this giraffe. So I'm just going to start... I think I'm gonna start with the head. So it kind of has like a, all right, I'm gonna move this here. It kind of has like a, I don't know, <laughs> kind of scared. Okay, I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna come down. I'm gonna kind of curve it and then I'm gonna come out like that. Okay, then I'm gonna kind of just come out and come in, do the same thing like that. And that's gonna kind of be the main shape of his head. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come up as far as I can. Does not have to be perfect. This is a rough sketch. Then I'm gonna come down and then back up. And I may not even go, hang on, I may make these a bit fatter, <laughs> fatter, and that one a bit less tall. Um, but your sketch does not have to be perfect. It's just a rough sketch and then you know just to show where one part's gonna be black and one's gonna be brown we'll do that okay and then we're gonna come right up and start the ears so we got the ears and then my ears okay and your ears do not have to be identical all right this is looking more like a cow but that's okay all right <laughs> um Okay, so then where it, see how it kind of comes out there? Those are where the eyes are going to be. So you can just kind of put the eye. It does not have to be perfect. I know it's looking weird, but it's a drawing. Remember that. <laughs> okay, then we're going to kind of make the circular part like that. Yeah, it is looking more like a cow, but it's not going to. And then we're going to come to about right here. And we're going to go down and we're going to make its neck. Okay. I'm gonna come to about right here and come down. No, probably needs to be a bit wider, probably. Yeah. Okay, that's why we got your eraser. Alright, and then maybe come more like that. Maybe even mm, maybe make this a bit fatter. Then you have, then you have your giraffe. Um, okay, so yeah, that's a nice sketch. And then you're gonna kind of have the nose here, and you know it'll it'll piece together once we start painting. But yeah, there's your sketch. So now what you want to do is you want to take your eraser and you want to start erasing the lines you are not gonna use first. 
Most of those lines that you're not using, they're just kind of there. You just kind of redrew, you know, whatever. I may even just kind of erase those lines too. We don't really need to be there. Um, yeah, so just erase the lines you're not going to use. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go back in and you're going to make all of your, you're just going to erase all of your lines to make them lighter. Because you don't, like, here's a mistake I kind of made. You can see a lot of my pencil mark through my giraffe and you don't want that to happen. So, first of all, you probably shouldn't draw dark, but it's okay. <laughs> I do sometimes. Um, but you just want to start erasing those lines where you can barely see them but you can still see them but you'll barely see them um another way i know people draw with um a watercolor pencil yeah a watercolor pencil but yeah i've just always done it with a normal pencil and just erase the lines where i could barely see them okay so yeah so just erase the lines you can barely see them and then we'll get to painting Okay, so now that I've got all my pencil erased, I'm just going to start painting. So, I kind of forgot how I did this, but I'm just going to start by mixing up the colors. So, I'm just going to take a bit of brown. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so I'm going to take some brown. And I'm going to make, like, a really nice light wash. I'm going to kind of add, like, a bit of some gray, maybe? I don't know. But I'm just going to start with a really light wash of brown. Okay, make like a tan and it's light. And then I'm just going to start and I'm just going to kind of start placing it in most places. Okay. And come around the nose and come up. And then I'm going to come around my eyes. It really doesn't matter, I think, but yeah, just kind of going around my eyes. Kind of went in, whoops, kind of went in the other eye, but it's fine. But I'm just kind of doing this light wash of this brown on the whole thing. Okay, not necessarily the whole thing, but I think I'm just going to stop well you know, you know. yeah I, it doesn't matter if you go over the eyes or not I think I am because I can still kind of see that pencil mark through it so I'll know where the eyes are okay so I'm gonna stop I did the whole head and then I'm gonna start with the nose so the nose is kind of more like a, a red brown so we kind of have brown and then I'm gonna take a bit of Windsor red and mix it in makes like a red brown I mean not like a red brown but a nice brown and 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 I think this is its nose I'm not sure but it, it, it no it's not his nose that's this I don't know but I'm gonna kind of water it down a bit more but and you're just gonna kind of bring it in here and let it yeah just kind of come around like that And then I may take a bit of like grayish brown or darker brown or whatever and tap it. I mean, it's not that dark, but tap it in the bottom. Okay, whatever. It's okay if you kind of get spot of marks, it's fine. Um, and then I'm going to kind of take some, some black, a lamp black, and I'm just going to kind of start not too much water, too much pigment, and I'm just going to kind of outline it. Outline it, but like that, and come down like that. Um, could have been skinnier, but it's okay. All right, and then we're gonna start just tapping around all these kinds of colors in the giraffe. So I think that's just kind of what I did. I kind of just went with the flow, like it wasn't too detailed, just kind of abstract, and it was just kind of like dropping in different types of browns and whatever I had and I just kind of tapped it around looking at that picture that I have and I'm kind of gonna 
gonna maybe make it a bit lighter or darker in right there. I don't know. Yeah, so I may come back in too to that nose. Whoops. Okay. Wash off the brush. Smooth that color. But um yeah, once it dries, I think I am gonna come back down the nose or I really don't know, but you know, you just kinda gotta go with it. Alright, let's see now. I kinda like that. Um I know you can't see the eyes and it I know it probably looks really weird right now, but <laughs> it's okay. It's supposed to. Now I'm just gonna take some black in different places. And just kinda come in. that my nose and uh, yeah so kind of like that so it's just kind of like a maybe not that dark and just kind of blend it out a bit but that's kind of the goal we're looking for and then I'm going to kind of make a darker blackish brown at the top off a bit more okay and come in with that let's press straight down so yeah towards the top and yeah and bring up that color for that nose we got maybe take this reddish brown again in here tap it in some places So that looks pretty good. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to do the eyes yet, but the eyes will make this look way better. <laughs> um, okay. So I don't know if I want to let that dry yet or not. I'm, I'm forgetting how I did this. Okay, so I'm going to take that reddish brown again. And I'm going to... Oops, too much red. And I'm going to probably add red and green and make up the brown I'm looking for. And that would probably work. Um, okay, so, and then I'm just going to come in, make this a bit lighter, more, more less vibrant than I'm going for. Um, Alright, and then I'm just going to do this color for, kind of water it down and do this color for the little, I don't know. Antlers, horns? I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on giraffes. At all. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but I, I don't. I don't know. Like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and then I'm gonna let that dry to do that part because this is more like crisp, precise. You don't want it um, to bleed. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for everything to dry, I think, to do the next part. Um, actually, I may do the ears though. The ears are more of like a tan color. Um, it's more like a, I don't know how to make it. I guess I could come to here to my yellow and okay let's see so I'm gonna take some yellow like yellow ochre yeah yellow ochre I might even tap a little bit of yellow ochre around no it's kind of too yellowy I mean it's okay I, I know I just did it but but yeah that kind of yeah I tapped in a little bit of yellow ochre and just kind of blended it out and it kind of got some more kind of color in there you know see see what I mean by like go with the flow like, sometimes I just, I don't know. It's, I like stuff like this because I feel like, like, oh, I'm not good at this, but not good at a draft, but it's kind of fun to do because I'm just tapping in on color and it's nice. Okay. All right. Back to the ears. I'm going to take, this has kind of got some ink, Dr. Page Martin Be Proof White ink in it, but that's okay. And just tap it in here. Water it down a bit and get a bit more like watercolor. It's okay if it kind of taps in and bleeds too, because that's okay. 
Well, I don't know. I think this one may turn out better than the last one. I don't know. We'll, we'll do a comparison at the end. But keep in mind, I am using professional paper. In my last one, I used Canson, which is not professional. It's more cheap. Alright, so yeah, this looks really good. I'm proud of myself because I'm kind of worried that this wouldn't turn out good. Alright, let's see. Yeah, just kind of fixing that drawer. Okay, I like that. And you can see it's already starting to dry. When it dries, it will dry lighter. Um, so yeah. If the black maybe is too dark or something or too whatever, you know, it'll it'll be fine. Um, I'm, it's kind of like a line there, so I'm just going to have to kind of get my finger. I don't know. Alright, so yeah. Let it be. <laughs> and we will come back in and we will finish it, I think. But yeah, I'm going to let it dry. We'll come back in and do the little nose thing, I think. The top of these little ear things. <laughs> Like I said, can't use proper grammar. Okay, so my giraffe is dry. Well, like, you know, half of my giraffe. Not even half. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start and we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish this nose mount thing. Like I said, don't know what it's called. <laughs> and then the rest of his little ears. Not really his ears. I'm not sure, guys. But we're just, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm going to take some black for the top of the ears right here. Or whatever these are and I'm just gonna come in here the pigmented um, and come on I mean you don't want it to be perfect you kind of want it to go like jagged zigzag whatever the word is that I'm looking for like that and then same thing for and you can see they're not, you know, the exact same, which is fine. Okay, so now it's supposed to be identical because he is a dress, an animal. Okay, yeah, so that looks really good. I like that. So you can see it's kind of pulling there. It's okay. Alright, yeah, so that looks great. So we'll also be doing the eyes too. Okay, so now we're gonna do his little snout nose. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, making sure you can see that. So this, um, this is like this kind of red brown color we have. Um, and we will use that one and then we'll have the black and then a nice darker brown we'll use for that part so okay so I'm gonna take our red brown that we had here I'm just gonna fill in this whole thing and you might get a bit more oops not that much red but a little more red do his whole thing, just cover it up, and just cover the whole thing. Okay, so like that. And now, we're going to do, we're going to take some more brown, and do the sepia, the red, red <laughs> it's a bit darker and we will do like a little part right there that's gonna be a bit darker and honestly I don't really want it to be that color because you know that's not really the color that I have anyway in this giraffe which is okay but 
don't really do anything cool. But what you can do is I'm just going to you know, draw off my brush. Ooh. Take off my pigment, some of that pigment, make it a bit lighter. Like that. I'm going to take some clean water. And I brush it back to get it a bit lighter. Or you can, you know, when you do that, and then I'll just, I'll just redo that part in a minute. But yeah, that's that. So what I'm gonna do is, um, okay. So what I'm gonna do is go in, and I'm gonna start with the eyes. So the eyes. We're just gonna use the same amount of black as we used or the little ears or I don't know what they were <laughs> like you can see I'm struggling with words so for the eyes they're just all the way on the side so I'm trying to like pinpoint where they were don't help right here looking around they're like laying maybe I don't know. Yeah. This is a, a decent size. Um, they can even be lighter if you would like. But I can't really lighten up black. Like this one is really light. This one. See, it's looking more like a giraffe now. <laughs> yep. Okay. Once we finish that and everything, it'll look more like a giraffe. Okay, and then we can just come in and do the little eyelashes. Um, trying to see if I can find this way. <laughs> Like that, I don't like that. Let's let's see what this one looks like first. Yeah, I don't like that. It looks cartoony. Okay, okay, I'm not stressing out. <laughs> I'm stressing out. All right, I'm just gonna sweep it up and make it black. It's gonna be fairly dark but that's okay yeah okay all right okay all right I'm not gonna panic what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come back in with some black not as dark as last time let's go back in with the eye I'm gonna make it a bit smaller do it once. I'm just going to do eyelashes again. Like that. Just little eyelashes. And like that. I'm going to do my show. I'm stressing out. The giraffe's so good and then I feel like I just ruined it. Okay. It's okay if you have some of that lighter black up under, like you can see. Okay. Really don't like that. And um, pick up those bottom eyelashes. That looks a bit better. I'm going to pick up the top one too. And then make them a bit lighter, and that may help. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. Stressing out. Okay. So, all right. 
that that doesn't look too bad. I think I'm just gonna stop messing with it. I'm seeing how it looks on camera. Okay. Um, so it seems to look better in camera, maybe. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it, let it dry. Um yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Whew. I'm kind of stressed out about that. Alright, we're gonna come back in with this little part there. So I'm taking the brown and come back up in there and do that. Right. Now that it's not as wet as it was. Um, okay. Like that. And then I'm going to take the black, black, so it gets like kind of white. Maybe I should wait for it to dry to do that. Do the black. Yeah, maybe let it dry a bit more. Yeah, we're going to let it dry a bit more and then we'll come back in and do that. So for this part, it's going to be like that kind of color, just a bit lighter maybe. Right, we have our color, but we're just going to water it down a bit. That's what we're going to do. And then it'll look mm, maybe a bit more brown in there, like a bit brownier, brownier. a nice light tone yeah like that and I'm just gonna wet it up but just in case it bleeds in with that one I'm gonna go around that one and then I'll do that in a minute well I don't know if that's actually a good idea I don't know let me just hang on okay I'm just trying, I want to get done with this so like it won't look like a disaster. Like I want to see how it's going to look at the end. Yeah, okay. Looking better. Definitely. Yeah, looking better. I may make it a bit darker, like, I mean, but you have to remember the doodle has some dots. Some dots. Hmm? Some dots. Just spots. Dots. You know what I mean. Not really dots. They're going to be bigger than dots. But. Okay. we got. Alright, I'm gonna go in and do the black now. Not so much on the hairbrush. Don't want it to be too much. Yeah, like that. We don't want it to be that. We don't want it spider veining. Spider veining. Okay, that's that that's not a problem, but the eyes. That's Oh my gosh, I can't even think about it. Yeah, this is fine. Let me just go over it. It'll be black there in a minute. Um, but yeah, we're gonna let that dry because we just wet it up again. Um, yeah. So we're gonna let that dry and then we will come back in and we will fill in. Well, actually, let's just see if it bleeds. Actually, no, this we can go ahead and finish right here. We don't have to leave it white soaked. I don't know how that's going to turn out. And it's not really bleeding. And even if it kind of does, it just kind of looks like a shadow. So. And I'm not going to do a shadow on purpose because this is just for fun. It doesn't have to be too detailed. Yeah. So yeah, that looks, that looks nice. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Let it dry before I do anything else. And then, yeah, we'll let it dry, and then we'll come back to it and finish it. Okay, so, the neck and little snout thingy 
is dry. So, the eyes aren't completely yet or that thing, but um, what we're working on is dry. So what I'm gonna do is start, and I'm gonna take some black, and I'm gonna do the little, you know, the dots, the circles. You do not have to do perfect circles. I'm just gonna do two. Hopefully they'll dry a little lighter. I'm just making it a little bit lighter trying to match everything and then what you can kind of do is kind of like not like connect them and make them black but you can kind of like yeah you can kind of do that um <laughs> but you know it just kind of gives a bit more you know I'm gonna go around all of these actually instead of making that smile lighter make it like darker instead I'm not really sure what I'm doing I'm just playing um okay so we're gonna you know take some more black and then make these bit darker but instead of like moving them I'm just tapping them so they won't bleed out too much. Alright. But I like that just the only thing is the harsh line between these cheeks. I'm just gonna wet up this whole thing again. Of course I am. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play. Well no I don't have to. Okay. Like that. I like that. It's, it looks really good on the eyes. It makes the eyes look better because, like, the whole thing looks better. But it's going to look even better when we're done. All right, so I'm taking four of the dots. How I did it was I just took some black and then went around them with brown. So, actually, we're starting with black. Um, yeah, so we're going to start with black. Kind of like too dark of black. But you just make not even, like, legit circles. Just kind really strange dots or circles not even like i don't even know like not even circles make them a bit darker but i'm just making these all over some can be bigger than others but you know make sure you still have enough room for the brown you know, even like really, really tiny ones, or really, really ones that are like going off the page, like that. Um, but just kind of all over. I did a lot. Kind of. Like that. So yeah, like that, and we will let that dry, or actually, we don't really have to let them dry, I don't know, I don't want them to like bleed, but I don't know, we could let them dry, or we could not, I don't know, I don't want them to be soaking wet, here, let's go ahead and make our brown do, I think I'm just, see, the thing I didn't like about this was this brown was just like, for a number I think and it was just like a very like not like a vibrant brown because brown is like not vibrant I guess but it didn't match any of the other colors on the giraffe and this one I want to kind of match if you can see so I'm just gonna take brown number and sepia and it makes like a nice kind of dark brown but I'm gonna make that red brown you know like that not like a red brown but it's add a bit of red on there and I feel like that makes it look better or something, but I don't know. I'm honestly mixing red, but I don't know if red is the color. I don't know. I don't know. 
like it. I've already got some paint splatter on me. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that color. That kind of matches everything else, I think. So yeah, I think that's a good color. And I think I am going to let these dry a bit before we do the brown. Okay, so I was trying out different things and, you know, doing different things for the neck. And it was just wasn't working out how I wanted it to. So I ended up not filming what I did. But pretty much I just kind of, I did a lot of things, but I just kind of went over it. You can see I made it darker and kind of went over the dots a bit and just kind of went with the flow and made it different colors. And I didn't make it exactly like that one, but I think it suits this one a bit better with the colors and everything. So that's how it turned out. I'm sorry I didn't film it, but I mean, it's really just it's still the same dots. I just tapped in more color and made it darker and, you know, kind of fooled around with the dots. But it, it wasn't really like turning out right. And I was like taking up pigment and putting more in it. And I was just like, okay, I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to get on with it and do it. But, um, yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to, we're going to do the stain background for this because I think it just really makes it cool. And then we, it will be done. Um, but I am, I think I'm, it's not dry yet and I do need to let it dry. So I'm going to let it dry and then we'll come back in and we'll do the background. But I just wanted to tell you guys because I know I didn't put it on camera. I'm so sorry about that, but kind of just happened. <laughs> Didn't plan for that to happen, but it just kind of happened. Okay, so it is dry, and now it is time for the fun part. <laughs> so, I love doing the background because it's super fun to do. Um, so, I'm going to take this um, Angular Shader by Princeton Snap, and that's what I'm going to do the background with. So, I'm going to go ahead and wet it up. And for my blue, I'm going to take, I have some blue in my palette, but I'm going to take Manny's blue. So, oops, this is just like a nice blue, light kind of blue color. And a bit of sterling blue. They're very simil similar colors. Similar, similar, whatever. Can't talk today. Um, they're very similar colors. And that's going to be my blue. So, what I did was I just kind of went in in my blue and just kind of put it in places um it did not have to be perfect almost like you know how rustic is but it's rustic with blue sort of i don't know and then for my pink i had i don't know what i had but or i don't know what i had but i'm gonna take you guys cannot see that okay let me turn my palette and I'm going to take Opera Rose and Permanent Rose. And that makes like a nice hot pink, but I kind of want like a lighter pink. Like that. So, and we can even like kind of make it a lighter wash too. Like that. So then, what I kind of did is I just kind of put long strokes of that in places like that and then I did a few paint splatters well I think I should I'm trying to remember I think I'm going to do the finish up the blue first though It's a really cool background and I find it just pulls in people's attention like when I showed it to everybody they like loved it because <laughs> I, I, I really just think it was the background my cousin I'll have to give her one of these but my cousin she her favorite animal is giraffes so I may have to end up doing this series because 
She loves giraffes, and she was begging for my lap one, so she's there now. So I really just, you kind of, when you're painting, you really want, you know, people to like your painting, and you, this is, you have this really cool giraffe, and then you want the, the cool background just lures them in, and it just makes a really nice painting. Painting. Why not stop today? Alright, I'm going to keep going. I think I'm going to take more blue. Yeah. I need to make more of a color. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to put more blue in here. Mostly my color in that one's blue. I'm making my background a bit different in this one. I'm trying to keep it wet. That's not working out too good. I'm trying not to touch the giraffe. But that's, that's not working out too good either. <laughs> okay. And let's go like this. Okay. Alright. And then, like that. I'm kind of getting that red pink in there too. This is almost like a tie dye. I don't know, it just really like brings out the painting. Because with a giraffe, the colors are so dull. <laughs> like it's all just browns and blacks, and it's not nothing fun. So then you get this really cool background in there. You have like this super cool, realistic looking giraffe, and then you get a cool background, and it's like boom shakalaka. <laughs> I feel like I can't pick up enough blue. Okay, there we go. Now, how's this going to turn? So, it's kind of hard to around the giraffe. Getting everywhere with this blue. It's like a, this background always reminds me of cotton candy. When I look at it, cotton candy is what comes to my mind. Yeah, I, I guess I can like see that because, I mean, pink, blue, cotton candy, it's all the colors of cotton candy. All right, I'm gonna go back in with my pink now. I'm going to do some more pink because pink, pink is fun and I need pink in here anyway, so, okay, and I'm like stepping back and looking at it, I love doing, like, not love doing that, but like, that's how I like to look at my paintings and like stepping back and looking, looking at them. Alright, so I'm going to do some paint splatters because I need some paint splatters because those make a really cool effect. Taking more color, more water, like that. And then it's some paint splatters and get on your giraffe paint. Wipe it off. Okay. One bad thing about paint spotters is it it's all on my giraffe colors. Okay. Wipe it off before it dries. There you go. There you go. Really cool. Cool. Super. Or cool. Super cool. <laughs> cool. Super cool. Super cool background with a super cool giraffe. It looks very nice. I really like it. So. 
is. There you go. Super cool. And I really enjoy painting this. It was fun. Even though there was mess ups and all things didn't go my way, it still turned out nice. I mean, art doesn't always go to go to waste. Sometimes it works for the better, you know? So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop before I overwork my paintings and it turns out bad. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That was super duper fun and there we go. Okay, so here is the comparison of both paintings and honestly I mean I saw differences but I didn't really see that this one was better this one wasn't they really both looked great I mean the, there was a lot of things that was different about them like the colors lighter and darker the details the background was even different I mean they both had different things about them and I both thought they were amazing so you can tell me what you think in the comments below but I thought they were both great and I hope you guys really liked the paint, both of the paintings. And yeah. So I hope you guys liked the video and the painting that I did. If you followed along, please let me know in the comments below how it turned out. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.